So when did it all start? I was trying to watch Minion Stewart bath scene, and then I got this ad. I tried clicking on the skip button, but nothing happened.、Mm-hmm. So I then tried watching it in other places. Something about it. Something about that music. My brain felt like it was floating on air. Come here, Pine. Pinely, hey Pinely, Pinely, Drew, what? It's me. How did I get here? What what am I doing? It's time to record a video with me. Uh. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> this is something that I got. I kept getting this as an ad、uh, two years ago on all of my, on, like every video that I saw, and I just saved it and I forgot about it、uh, until recently. So I wanted to kind of give you the the gift of what I got、Thank、through、you. this guy's. Paid ad for his song. This is my favorite artist of all time. Yeah, so this is like really a glimpse into your soul and like what kind of like who you are as a person. So I'm really excited this to see is, this. This is what goes on in my brain twenty four seven. Vacation. Oh yeah, I'm on a vacation. On a vacation. La estrada. Um. So, so this is a couple years old, right? So it's it's not AI generated. This is like a human being who made this. This is the, a guy did all this.、Uh, this is a a human man who did this. This is a beautiful animation. I think Pixar worked on this. I think they helped him out with this. Yeah. Was this in theaters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'd love to see this on the big screen <laughs> where it belongs. Just sitting down for a two minute song. Twenty <laughs> minutes of previews and then just the two minute song. Vacation. <laughs> Vacation, yeah. Vacation, yeah. Vacation. I see that you've learned the lyrics already. The chorus is beautiful. The chorus. So this is really inspiring me to take a vacation. Right now, I'm gonna go take a vacation right now. Wait, no, no, no. We need to. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll stick around for five minutes. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Vacation. Wait, yeah. No, go back. What, what was that move there? I love that little break. <laughs> <laughs> That's the feeling when your vacation's over. But then he just booked two more days at the hotel, so it's back on vacation. He's back at it. His life is a never-ending series of vacations. Life, life was, was boring. boring. Intoxication. So, wait, so life was boring. Intoxication. Intoxication. He, yeah. Interesting. So I guess he was like <laughs> kind of an alcoholic in like his day to day life, and now on vacation he gets a break from all the alcohol. He can finally stop drinking now that he's <laughs> on vacation. <laughs> finally, I can be sober. There's no pressure to drink in Hawaii. Or... On a vacation. Do you think he can pull those dance moves in real life? Um, I I mean these are really intricate animations. Is this like motion、yeah. captured? You think he was able to pay for six hundred thousand? Views and ads. Yeah, that's a lot of money to to、yeah. put into marketing. <laughs> Life starting. Life starting. I'm on a vacation. Life starting. He's kind of recapping his life. Life started. Now I'm on a vacation. There's、that's、day all, one、yeah. vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I was dreaming. Maybe when things are normal again, my dream will come true. If you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I like he sings. He starts singing another song for the outro. Yeah, you get a bonus song if you actually watch the whole ad. <laughs> yeah, if you stick around through the credits, which I do actually want to look at the credits again because that was a lot of names. I mean, it's the entirety of Pixar. So artist, I assume, is a main guy. So he did all the music, the choreography. I guess a family member. Yeah, or maybe spouse, his wife maybe. or something. Yeah, it's really not a lot of people. It's just him and his the other person. It's just a lot of ways to be like, look, man, I'm so <laughs> talented. I wore twelve different hats on this production of、uh, Vacation Music. Pick Clue. We'll go over who Pick Clue is.、Mm-hmm. Vacation Dream. The him waking up for a dream. 
that's because he made this during uh, COVID. So this is like a fantasy of like the world oh, that, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you didn't give me the backstory before. That really adds a lot of depth to it. It's actually- well, I want you to experience it as it is. You You're know? right. And I would hope that as COVID has, has settled down that he's gone and on, gone and on a vacation. Yeah, I hope he stopped drinking. I yeah. really hope he stopped drinking. <laughs> I was dreaming, maybe, when things are normal again. So I was dreaming, maybe. <laughs> I mean, he's so far up at this point. He, doesn't, yeah. <laughs> he has no <laughs> <He's> idea. <laughs> please subscribe, subscribe. Press the subscribe button and please subscribe. Why do you not end your videos that way? I didn't know there was an option, but I see something I like, I'm gonna steal it, put it in my own videos. And now that I've seen this, I'm yeah. ripping this off. So his name is Piklu? But his name is actually... This is an important distinction, and we're gonna okay. go over that. Piklu is like, it's sort of like Slim Shady, you know? Right. M &M. This is like his unhinged version of himself, where he's on a vacation. Yeah, I love the idea that his alter ego, like Slim Shady is this like <laughs> monster of a guy, and then his alter ego is just a guy who's chilling out. It's a really sweet message. Like, it's the first time I've seen comments on an ad being really supportive. 0% drugs, 0% sex, 0% violence, 100% vacations. <laughs> so like we said, you know, there's the, there's the, the Slim Shady character, Piklu, and then there's a beer, right? Okay. And as a proper sort of musician, a beer makes sure that we know the distinction between the, the two. Right, you don't want to blur that line too much. Piklu likes vacations. I guess we'll figure out what he likes uh, yeah. in this song. Hi there, it's me, a beer. I hope you're doing fine. Hope things are not looking grim. I'm fine, thank you. I'm just drowning your life, but I'll... <laughs> oh my God. Oh, there's a lot to unpack already. Number one, he's prefacing this with like, we forgot about this one because this one, this one's not up to snuff with vacation, but we're going to put it out anyway because we respect the fans. We want to give them as much as we can. On top of that, I mean, drowning, <laughs> drown, he doesn't say drowning in work, he says drowning in life. But he's drowning in notebooks, more realistically. Yeah, and binders. <laughs> but I'll survive, just don't know how to swim. His head kind of dislocated from <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like... love all the clipping that's going on in this. It's sort of like he gets buried in it and then he like just bursts out of it because he's like, I'll be fine. But it's just everything very awkwardly sort of just like crumples off of him. It's like his head is a magnet for books. <laughs> a little something, a few words for me. I don't want to be lonely. I, I saw you really feeling that moment. I don't want to be lonely. I mean, <laughs> what a sentiment. It's songs that he wanted to forget about. He wanted to forget about being lonely. But he knows that like by sharing this, that this will help people, people work through their own loneliness, you know? I think he's genuinely incredibly lovely. Like what he's I trying so to do too. is just so nice. <laughs> <laughs> you look happy. You say you're not doing that well, but you can smile. Are you for real? <laughs> I love that. I, are you for real? <laughs> are you for real? <laughs> He's simulating a two-way conversation, right? Where one person is like, things are hard, but you can still smile. And that person is like, are you for real? I can? Because that's how I interpreted it. You know how I lied to you or hit the truth about the first concept of the song? I yeah. did this again, actually. What? I'm a little trickster. I'm not even going to post this anywhere. This is just for what? me to laugh at. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first episode of Forgotten Songs, which is the first of a series of videos telling the story of a young woman trying to find her way back to the love she has forgotten. So what does this have to do with the young woman? I'll be honest, I have no idea. You really understand how the world really works, but I don't. I say what I feel. Maybe you're right. His, the, the move from vacation, which is essentially one sentence, mm -hmm. to this, where it's like, my life is crumbling apart and I don't know what to do and I'm yeah. lonely and you're lonely. <laughs> He's really in tune with his emotions and that's more than you can say about a lot of people. About us. We don't know anything. I have a lot of walls up around me. You'll yeah. never break down. Why am I getting a full commentary video as an ad when all I really care about is getting a unique metal poster that you can mount on your wall in just 20 seconds with no power tools? Using magnets?
Yes. Well, with today's sponsored display, you can do just that. Almost anything that you might be interested in, you can get a poster for and display. I like movies, so I got a bunch of posters that have something to do with that. Whether it's gaming, comics, nature, if you look it up on the display website, you'll probably find a poster for it. And it's pretty damn good as a Christmas gift as well. The displates are manufactured in Europe and it takes them about four to five days to arrive. This is the best time to order it if you wanted to arrive in time for Christmas. They're incredibly easy to mount on your wall. This took me less than a minute. And you can get a pretty great Christmas deal right now. Go to displate.com slash Pinely or use my discount code Pinely at checkout. If you order up to two posters, you can get a 22% discount. And if you get any more than that, you can get a 33% discount. Thank you, Displate, for sponsoring this video. And Merry Christmas. Can you see this? <laughs> <laughs> So after I fell down this rabbit hole of watching all the songs that he put as ads, I also checked out his website. And mm. it is, I mean, just a, a beauty of graphic design. They just don't make websites like this anymore. And it sucks. Every website looks the same now. It's, it's like boxy and modern. This is what websites should look like. But specifically with a picture of this guy. Is that, and that's the real guy, right? That's not the... I don't know. It's so hard to tell because the CGI is so... It's so convincing. lifelike. <laughs> yeah. In life, you become what you are, but you struggle to find your place. Struggle with your own self to find your own time and space. At times, it seems like the only way is to slow down your pace. Those times, only music brings a smile to your face. And it's a quote by him. I also love that we've listened to two songs and the only thing that's rhymed so far is his website poem. Well, it's written so he had like more time to figure it out. I also like the first line of that. In life, you become what you are. Yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's, it's like, in, in life, you kind of are you. It's like, yeah, I guess so. I never thought about it like that. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I am very curious. I'm not going to read you. all of this. Okay. But it's uh, sort of his background. I'm, I'm it's very his curious. life story. So he was born in Bangladesh. As his father was a legendary music composer and singer, his childhood oh. was heavily influenced by his father's unique combinations of folk and classical music. Yeah, I was gonna say unique combination of folk and classical. Hit the nail yeah. on the head there. Things got rough when he grew up and he had to find a regular job as a university teacher. It's a pretty good that's job. Not, that's not so bad. <laughs> that's pretty normal. You know, he didn't get, get arrested. He just was a teacher for a little bit. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> but he had always felt something missing, something blocking him. Then mm -hmm. he realized he has to come full circle and accept who he really is, a singer-songwriter. On a vacation. That's what he means by in life you become what you are. He was always destined to be this and he did. He was destined to become Piklu. <laughs> Last see. Sorry for sneezing in your video. Yeah. Hope I didn't. Can you, <laughs> yeah, don't do that again. That, I'll, then I'll we're gonna need to re-record the whole thing. <laughs> So this song is called Pick Loon Love. He Perfect. has a much more sinister look in this one. Hey, wanna go out for lunch sometime? Sure, just tell me when and where. I'll be there. I'll be there. Love, love. Oh yeah. I'm dreamy eyed. What do you think of the new, <laughs> the new haircut? <laughs> I love it. It's, it's definitely giving Ace Ventura, which I think is probably what he was inspired by. His shirt has changed to yeah. a more complicated color scheme. It's a high production thing. You can mm -hmm. change the shirt. So good. It's too good to be true. <laughs> now I'm loving this thing they call love. Oh my God, what? What is this? His hair has changed three times. His outfit could not be more different in this moment. It's like a, a jacket a robot would wear. I feel like it's so beyond what we know as clothes. This is this is just my skin, man. I don't know what to tell you. Falling in love. You're not a fan of those backing vocals. Yeah, no, the <laughs> harmony there didn't quite work. It was a, it was like he was singing and then it's just like. In the background, slowly getting louder. I'm falling in love. Falling in love. 
I, you're really feeling these songs, man. <laughs> That's how you write something catchy. You got it's got to stick in people's mind. And I know that this shit will be in my head for days. Dance break. <laughs> I really don't know what to Where did she go? <laughs> oh no. Wait, she just disappeared. With me. No, she's not. She just left. She was. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that was intentional or did they just not like keyframe it long enough? Because she just disappears. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was a mistake. Because his next <laughs> line after this is, she's with me. And she's very clearly not. She's with me. I feel like he's hiding something. What did he do to that woman? She's in my basement. <laughs> willingly. <laughs> She's everywhere. She's in my thoughts. He's with me. She's She's everywhere. He sliced her up. Now I'm flying to the sky above. I feel like you know what's gonna happen now. Uh, yeah, they're gonna dance again. Yeah, yeah they're gonna dance again. <laughs> okay. I really am impressed by the animated choreography. I don't know how animating works. They're so intricate. The movements are so intricate. Yeah, it looks like it follows something that they did in real life. Yeah, there's so many like pivot points. It's not just like their arms are moving. Like they like wiggle and like... Yeah, they're like jelly. Went into this. They're like jelly. They're like chrome jelly. <laughs> this is the first song so far where he consistently rhymed and I appreciate that. Yeah, there's so, love and love. Love and above. He did say above and uh, love. Yeah, yeah. What would you rate this one? A hundred. Would you? Hundred out of fifty. Fuck. It's twice as good as the best song I've ever heard. Which was the last one you heard as well. Yeah, that was so. a perfect fifty, but this is <laughs> has already doubled that. I hope you're ready to have it broken again, because he did another love song. Five years ago, it's Five years ago. So this is from the perspective of a beer. So this would be a good one to kind of compare between the two personalities. Gotcha. I guess this is the type of shit that he was on five years ago. My love song. He, he knows song. how to start a song. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all the best songs ever written start with, this is the song that I'm about to sing. Somehow I feel inside. You won't work. Song. I feel it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, somehow I feel inside, you want my love. Okay, that makes sense. No, I think he's saying you won't love my love. Mm, no, that doesn't make sense. I feel inside, you won't love. Oh, oh, yeah, you won't, oh, you love, won't my love, love song. So this is like a diss track or something. He's starting off a song by saying, I know you're not gonna like this song, but here it goes <laughs> anyway. I feel it's something I should hide. You won't love my love song. But I can't survive if I can't. I mean, it is very different. <laughs> yeah, everything else was so optimistic and and... Hopeful, and this is like, I need to hide this from you because it sucks so bad. <laughs> like, I, I love that so much has happened that we didn't even acknowledge the outfit. To, right. To the, degree. That's what he was doing five years ago. He's part of the mafia. He just killed like five people and he's like, I know you won't like my song. <laughs> it's like, I think he got bigger fish to fry, man. I don't know. <laughs> With my love song, you'll sing along. With my love song, my love song. Okay, so that's kind of the end of the song there, but then there's another minute left. What's up with that? I think maybe something crazy. I don't think you like. Oh no, he's just he's just, okay, he's just, he's just doing it again. <laughs> so because he's also this international phenomenon, he's also made a couple of both videos and songs. Uh, for a variety of different occasions. This one that I'm gonna show you is very, fits really well because it's about to be a new year now. I know we've had our ups and downs during this recording, but I'm showing this to you as a nice message. Happy, happy, happy new year. All my subscribers, happy new year. All my well wishes, happy, happy new, new year. year. Baby, coming year. Mm -hmm. The happiest of all. This is what I wish you. A happy new year? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, most of his songs use a lot of repetition, I've noticed. Happy, happy, happy new year. There's like a little, like, did you notice that? There's like a little bit of happy, happy, happy new year. Just a tad of repetition. Yeah, I notice uh, every once in a while he'll say a word uh, several times in a row and then repeat the entire phrase again. I love this though because like, you know, there's so many Christmas songs. Boring. We, uh, yeah, it's boring. It's like, uh, Jingle Bells, how about Go to Hell, you know? it's We all love the new year, but there's no songs about it. My subscribers, happy, happy new, new year. year. Don't love my subscribers. <laughs> I love it. It's it's vague enough that it applies to any YouTuber. We could all end our video, our last video of the year every year. Anyone can just play this and it still works. It doesn't work for my subscribers. They hate the new year. You got to get new ones. Yeah. You got to replace them all. That's my new year's resolution. Football song, let the magic play. This one is crazy. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh. It's time, let's rise up, enjoy the new day The world rejoices, it's time to play Get up, get going, let's- I love it, do you think he got actual kids to do the, hey! <laughs> or do you think it's just him? Doing yeah, just him pitched up. <laughs> just, hey! They seem like real kids. I can tell because their eyes are so uh, lifelike. Yeah, because you can definitely see like a soul behind their eyes and it's not just sort of like a, a black void. It's no way. It's just a magic breakout. It's a getaway. Let's go away. It's a getaway. It's a getaway. It's a vacation. It's Everything's a magic. tying together. Yeah, I'm in <laughs> love with this song, but I think you're going to hate this song. Oh, oh, wow. I'm sorry. That girl was a jump scare for me. I. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. You shouldn't have added that to the video. <laughs> you should be punished for that, I think. <laughs> that looks like Philip DeFranco. I'll say it. Which one? The the boy? L a little bit, I think, maybe. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be glad to hear <laughs> that he looks like that. The game's got the intent ah. Does he not know th how terrified this is? <laughs> Each one is scarier than the last. It's like a demon voice, like going through the, their mouth. The game's got the intent vibe. Intent, intent, intentling vibe? Enchanting maybe is what they're trying, the game's enchanting? What do the lyrics say? I know they're auto-generated, but what, what do they think it say? Amazing. It's amazing. They don't even, they don't, <laughs> they're, they're not registering this as words. They're not even trying. Yeah, <laughs> that's just sounds, man. Let the magic play. Oh, 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 we all today. <sighs> I'm actually genuinely like, like unsettled by, by these kids' faces. Seeing them all dance in unison adds a whole other layer of like eeriness to it. Like there's not even like a slight human difference between them. They're like a machine. Football has brought them together so much that they're mind controlled. Yeah, there's something about that ball. Do you think that ball is the brains behind the operation of the entire channel? Like, is he, as was he possessed years ago? Five years ago, that's what happened. He found that ball. He was lonely. He, he was enjoying his life as a university professor. And yeah. he found this ball that convinced him to make all these uh, songs. Fuck. Well, uh, what would you rate this one? I guess. Three. Three out of... Out of 50. I'm still doing the 50 scale. Out of... Oh, you're still on the 50 scale. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be three a three out of 50. Out of 50. Uh, I like the whistle. It was a zero because of how terrifying everything was. But the fact that they just had one little ref whistle in there, I was like, this is awesome. This song, I actually chose this as the last one because it reminded me of of you. It okay. Me, when I watch a Drew Gooden video, this is the vibe that I get from okay. everything. I think you'll like it. Wow, it's too blue. He's quoting one of his great quotes, which is, wow, wow it's Sheep Blue. So is Sheep Blue uh, now a third Big Oh, Blue? yeah, I think it's a new character, yeah. Yeah, because this guy raps. This is the first rap song that he's ever released. You can tell that this guy's a rapper. He's got this crazy shirt on. He's got the worst haircut, you know, and he's just ready to rap. Wow, wow, wow. Who's she blue? What? Okay, 
I love that because that was my question. I was like, who's Sheep Blue? This is a new guy. And he's like, no, no, we know. We hear your concerns. We're going to start off with that. Who's Sheep Blue? I'm going to tell you. No, I'm famous. If you don't, it's your loss. Millions follow me. I'm the social media king. The boss. Okay, this guy's got some swagger to him. I like Sheep Blue so far. I, lo I love the way his first line is like, I'm famous. If you don't know me, it's your loss. Not if you don't know me, maybe I'm not as famous as I'm pretending to be. No, it's your <laughs> loss that you don't know me. Millions follow me. I'm the social media king. The boss. Everyone's knocking on my socials. So vocal. You want to meet me? Everyone's knocking on my socials? Yeah, yeah, you do that. Excuse me. Can I follow? Wait, can I please DM you? <laughs> not time to interact. So wait in line. You're lucky that I exist. Oh, shit. Holy shit! Okay, wait. Oh my god, there's so much I'm missing. This is such a stark difference from everything we've seen so far. He's been so humble and self-deprecating and hopeful and nice, and now he's just like, I don't have time for you, get in line. You're lucky I exist. And this is why it reminded you of me? Yeah, yeah, because you also like, you always talk about how people should be glad that you exist. Yeah, because we were hanging out at Disney and there were just so many like, just regular people there that day. And very few of them were giving me the respect I deserved. They didn't salute me, they didn't kneel at my feet. It's like you were really upset that people didn't come and like you were like, oh, it's their loss that they don't know who I am. Pisses me off, man. Everybody's knocking on my social media. There's so much. <laughs> and this is like banger every line better than the last. Coded to charm latest version. Latest version. I, I do want to say, this is a, about as much of a rap as the other ones are. <laughs> yeah, this is not a rap. I don't think at any point he's really rapped. Is this like a more recent one? Because I think it's really funny to think of how humble he was, but he's paid a bunch of money to promote his songs, blew up a little bit, and now he's like, I'm the fucking best, everyone bow down. Like, so just yeah, th this is his latest song. Yeah, this, this is a, a month, month ago. ago. Oh my God. Well, maybe this is his way of like letting that, you know, side of him out, you know, through that character. I love it. This is my awful ego when it does a little dance. Sorry, this is the worst version of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a world of light. But it's hard being in the spotlight. Haters keep hating and hating and hating. Okay, we're getting a rap bit. Love that. It's like he's so like he was up his own ass and now it's like it's hard to be in the spotlight. Haters keep hating and hating and hating. They don't understand what I am. I do what I feel. I say what I feel. You've got a problem with that? You better not. And if you have a you got a problem with that? You better not. Stop having a problem with me being so famous. Maybe it's like a critique of like influencers or stuff. I'd say that it's a bit, bit on the nose. You're no match for me, cause I'm the definition of hotness. <laughs> That's like the, the, my favorite frame, I think, from all of oh these. Oh my god, that is a perfect frame. <laughs> wow. Meeting when I'm around, latest version. It really adds to the song that you just have a random person screaming in your ear every 30 yeah. seconds. <laughs> That's the sound people make when they see him on the streets, because he's the most viral guy in town. Ah! This guy's the definition of hotness. <laughs> so what I want to do now is I want to create our own song inspired by him i'm just gonna play this and then we can just both sing at the same time okay it, we, it can be about how uh hot we are how we're the definition of hotness although i think yeah. we'd be stealing that line off of someone i don't remember who i made this in garage band can't wait to hear it i i think it's really nice We're both hot, 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 but hot. we're not the most hot. Just third, second and third. <laughs> Just second and third <laughs> hottest. <laughs> I was dreaming, maybe, 
when things are normal again, my dream will come true. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and watch more videos like this. Please subscribe, subscribe, press the subscribe button, and please subscribe. Also, if you want to check out Abir's channel, the link to that would be in the description. We joked a lot, but I genuinely think he's a really cool artist. And of course, Drew's channel is also going to be there.